The Blue Jackets have hired a new forwards slash power play coach. It is Mark Recchi, the wrecking ball, who previously coached for the Devils until the end of the 2021-22 season. So Pascal Vincent fills the void that Mike Babcock left when he resigned. Uh, so they, they needed someone to fill there, and they hire Mark Recchi. Now, Recchi had a tremendous Hall of Fame career as a player, including three Stanley Cup victories. So that experience there I was probably attractive to the Blue Jackets. His tenure as a coach, however, especially when it comes to um, his success or lack thereof coaching the power play, has been a topic of debate as his latest stint in New Jersey didn't quite go so well as far as pure numbers go. In New Jersey in 2021-22, so his most recent year, the, the Devils power play was converting on 15.5% of their chances, which was good for 28th in the NHL, or I should say not good for 28th in the NHL. And in his first season, that, that 2021 shortened year in the NHL, he the Devils went for 14.2% of their power play chances, also 28th in the NHL that year. So some people will point to that as proof that it's another bad year incoming for the Blue Jackets power play. The Jackets power play hasn't finished higher than 25th in some years now. And, you know, if you go to posts of either official posts of the team saying that they hired Mark Recchi or so just people talking about it, Devils fans, you, you can see him in there not really holding his time there quite in high regard. Uh, but, you know, the Devils those years were bad all around. It is possible that perhaps most coaches would have had bad results with that power play regardless of their coaching ability. Uh, there was also some speculation that the organization might have turned to the current AHL forwards coach Mark Letestu to fill the void that Pascal Vincent left when he when he was promoted to head coach. But that would have created a, another hole for the Jackets to fill. You don't want to leave your AHL team without a, a forwards coach. And they already had to do that on defense a couple years ago with Steve McCarthy when he had to be promoted from the AHL defensive coach to the NHL defensive coach. They didn't really have uh, much other choice there. I don't think the Jackets wanted to go through that again. But there was also some Blue Jackets hockey action on the ice on Sunday. Twice against the Penguins, they played one game in each city slash arena. I'm not going to be talking about every Jackets preseason game, but since it was the first day of official Jackets ho hockey in some capacity, I might as well get into it. So both of these games went to overtime with the home team prevailing in each one. Jordan Dumais had the game-winning goal for Columbus in the evening game, and there were some encouraging signs for some young prospects. I just mentioned Jordan Dumais having a crazy, he had a crazy game-winning goal where it, where it went in and out of the net so fast it took the crowd a few seconds to realize that a goal was actually scored uh, but the first round picks from 2022 both progressing quite nicely on on defense both David Yerchek and Denton Matejchuk are showing some signs of life there if both Dumay and Matejchuk continue to impress throughout training camp the Blue Jackets might apply for some exemptions for them to play in the AHL despite being under 20 and under CHL contract right now the NHL and the CHL have an agreement where if if a player is under 20 and they don't make the NHL club, then they will automatically play for the CHL. The Jackets might try to uh, apply for ex some exceptions to that to try to circumvent that, get them in some AHL play against some tougher competition if they're not quite ready for the NHL roster. But we'll see how that goes in the in the coming weeks. Adam Fantilli, the highly anticipated third overall pick for the Blue Jackets, he had two assists in his game. He does seem to be building some nice chemistry both on and off the ice with Patrick Laine. There was some talk about how Fantilli and Laine have been, uh, they've been roommates together ever since Fantilli signed his entry-level deal. Some funny quotes uh, circulating around social media where Fantilli was was boasting about Laine's air-frying skills involving all the steaks and, and minute rice meals that he's making. So Fantilli getting the I guess, college meal experience from Patrick Line and his air fryer. So if that combo develops on the ice, that could be a very productive duo for quite some time for the Blue Jackets. And the line in general of Fantilli, Line a, and Alexander Texier being the third member of that line right now, it's lo it's been looking pretty good both in training camp practices and scrimmages and in the uh, this preseason game against the Penguins. Although I will say both Elvis Merzlikens and Eric Branson, some veterans that the Jackets would like to try to get going. They had a couple iffy games, but... Just like how I said I wasn't going to get excited about Elvis's year just because he had a really nice uh, scrimmage for 30 minutes. I'm not going to get all panicked or I'm going to say that, you know, these two aren't going to improve just because they had uh, so a, a shaky preseason game here and there. That is definitely going to be something that I'd rather uh, wait and wait for the regular season to get panicked about something somebody like Elvis Merzlikens if he's going to rebound or not I'm going to let the regular season results tell me if I should be concerned about the, the, his future with the, the organization or not so that's going to be it for this video just a quick little update on how the Jackets 
uh, their new coaching hire and the preseason game starting up. Some things to look out for moving forward. Let me know if you like this video or not. If you if you didn't like it, you don't have to tell me. I'd rather you not. But uh, if you really hated this video with a passion, I guess go ahead and let me know. But you can leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'd like to see more like it. And I will see you at the next one.